Centurion fighting out of the red corner wearing the yellow trunks trim with blue weighing in at 18 stone and 4 pounds undefeated 21 contest 21 wins 12 inside the scheduled distance he comes to the ring as the undefeated IBO Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion from Inverness, Scotland where he is known as the Highlander Gary Horney and now ladies and gentlemen fighting out of the blue corner wearing the black trunks Weighing in at 17 stone, 11 pounds, 3 ounces, with a perfect professional record of 13 contests, 13 wins, 13 inside the scheduled distance. Comes to the ring as the two-time ABA champion and the winner of the Olympic gold medal in the heavyweight division. Ladies and gentlemen, we present the reigning and defending WBA. International Heavyweight Champion from Watford, England. It's AJ Anthony Joshua. Okay, boys, had instructions in the restroom. Remember, obey my commands at all time. Defend yourselves at all time. God bless touch clubs. Let's do it. Victor Lachlan absolutely dwarfed by these two big beasts. 35 stone of power in that ring. The one thing everybody is agreed upon. Three scoring judges will not be needed tonight. It's scheduled for 12. It won't go that long. First round. And how does Gary Cornish cope with the biggest night of his career a joiner by trade same as ken buchanan he's been given six weeks off by his company to prepare for this he's had a good camp in inverness they brought in the french heavyweight newfell uata they brought up richard towers from sheffield the reports out of the camp were that it went very well indeed but that was training camp this is the real thing live bullets I think Conn has just felt the power and the punches there of Joshua. He partially blocked it, but he felt the power. But it's good to see Joshua in against an opponent who has ambitions of his own, and whose career is on the way up and not on the way down. Looking for the body there, Joshua, with a straight right hand. Ah. Joshua looking very sharp. Here he nails it with a right hand inside the first minute. Cornish down, looking at his corner on one knee. It's the power, but it's the speed as well. Cornish didn't see it coming. He get caught with a solid jab just before the right hand, and that set him up for it. And the legs have turned to rubber already. Joshua biding his time. And then unloading again, and Cornish looking unsteady. Joshua looking to measure him up. Could this be gone in the first? He's caught him with another right hand. And Cornish is in desperate trouble already. Now, the technique that Joshua is showing at the moment is terrific. You wouldn't believe only a dozen fights. And it's over. It's all over in 90 seconds. Anthony Joshua's biggest test on paper has turned into his quickest win. What can you say about Anthony Joshua? Well, a blistering to, performance. You have to say that any heavyweight that's caught clean by Joshua. Coming and never was able to recover. See, he took the, the left hand there, which you could see steadied him a little bit. He felt that one. And then, bang, overcame the right hand. Full credit to Cornish getting up from that, because that really was a solid shot that put him on the floor. He showed bags of courage. He got up again after the second knockdown, but there was no point allowing that to continue. But you can see the natural power that Joshua has. He doesn't have to wind the punches up. Everything just seems to flow from him. Perfect balance, perfect delivery, and the perfect finish. 
So full credit, as I say, to Cornish. He got back up off the floor, tried to get himself back into the fight, but every time Joshua landed, whether it be with the left hand or the right hand, it was knocking him onto his heels. I mean, look at the power and, and the jab there. Trying just to, to survive the crisis. But down the end, that was from the accumulation of the punches. That wasn't from one single shot. But when he got back up, his legs were unsteady. And there was no point allowing it to continue. The, the writing was on the wall by that time. It really was. And the potential of Anthony Joshua truly frightening. The critics will say, yeah, he's not faced anyone yet. And they'll say that again tonight. But poor old Gary Cornish, this was a massive night for him. And he put so much work into it. And he was just blown away in 90 seconds. And you just wonder how many heavyweights in the world right now would you put... Ladies and gentlemen, time keto Peter McCann has recorded a time of 1 minute and 37 seconds of the first round. Referee Victor Lachlan has stopped the contest with Cornish in no position to continue. Therefore, your winner and the new Commonwealth and still the WBC International Heavyweight Champion from Watford, England, AJ Hale.